The word veteran to me means someone who has prior served their country. There's no higher honor than being able to call yourself a veteran. We're losing these veterans by the day. So to hear those stories firsthand by actual someone who was there and seen it with their own two eyes and experienced it is huge. And you can read about it in history books and see videos, but to actually feel the passion that somebody had when they were first there and some of these guys actually get you know teared up reminiscing about it, it really hits home. I got aboard a minesweeper in Brisbane. And uh, we would go out there and we would, we, would, we would sweep the Great Barrier Reef, the, the water channel between the Great Barrier Reef and the Australian mainland. We would sweep that for mines. Uh, when it got time to uh, prepare for the next place, while they were preparing for it, we minesweepers went to the next place. We was always the first one there. But we never had no trouble out of the Japanese because we were too small, too insignificant. They didn't have any idea of what we were, what we were doing. And or, or they would suck us every time they seen us. The biggest difference is just the conditions. The conditions that they lived in to the conditions that we live in now. Um, you know, back then it was definitely a lot, a lot rougher, I would say, than it is now. We, we had just came back into Advocate Island and and all of a sudden we heard that damn explosion we ever heard in our life, and it's, we still haven't heard nothing like it. But what had happened, there was eight ships sitting here like this, and uh, the uh, repair ship was right in the middle, and, and the rest of them were, were freighters and uh, Navy ships. That whole damn wad blew up. The, some of the stories that you know, the guys and even some of the ladies there have, you know, are, are timeless and priceless. They're really uh, kind of inspiring some of the stories that you hear. A lot of those veterans don't have any family left. So holidays, you know, birthdays that they might have coming up, they spend them alone a lot of the time. And it's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that part of life is, you know, people passing away and you lose your friends and you lose your loved ones, especially as you get older in age. So by us coming there and even that one hour a week, turn their day right around, turn their week right around. So think about it like that. When you go there, think about your grandparents and you know your loved ones that you might have back at home. And it, it's kind of nice. You know, some of the bonds and relationships that we've made there, you know, have they make my day better when I go there and I know I'm next their day better. So it's definitely a positive thing.